Ladies and gentlemen, Pride 25. ただいまより本日のラストマッチ、プライドヘビー級タイトルマッチを行います。青コーナーより挑戦者エミリアエンコヒョードル選手の Now we're stepping with the big boys and I'm gonna go as far as to say this is the Pride Heavyweight Champion but for all intents and purposes this is the World Heavyweight Championship of Mixed Martial Arts It truly is Both of these fighters Fedor Emelianenko He is from Russia and he is maybe one of the greatest, if not the greatest fighters ever in mixed martial arts. And he's in top position. You better keep your hands up and your body blows. He's got such a powerful punch. It's, it's incredible. Uh, no care, I hope for him that uh, Emilio Negro is not going to get the time on. Okay, uh, Fedor comes in about six foot one, and he's tipped the scale right around 236. Yeah. And that, that's a stud right there. And he can drop a hand grenade with either hand, both standing and while changing. He gets the guards. Ooh, he's so good. The two best heavyweights in the sport right now are about to step in the ring and clash, standing on the ground. They have a different attitude, and they both come from the top team. That man from the Russian top team, Fedor Emelianenko. Wow, what a music too, huh? Aga Kona Yuri, Gen Pride Heavy Q Champion, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira Senshi no Yujou desu. And what can you say about Minotauro? Minotauro is pretty much, in the last couple of years running, been voted as the best fighter in the sport, both in 2001 and 2002 by most sports writers. In <laughs> He beat Sammy Schultz. He beat Bob South. I mean, those don't happen anymore. But this guy knows that Fedor is probably as dangerous as both those guys for a different variety of reasons. Yep, you cannot have a punching exchange with Fedor Emilio That's one thing for sure. But knowing Noguera, he's, he's going to be prepared. His stand-up will be there. He's got everything. He's got all the tools to be, get hit first. And that's going to be a difficult task for Fedor. But the thing is, boss, he's been hit before, and he was hit by Bob South. That's what I and mean. And he can take a punch. Now, can Fedor punch more accurately? That was the trick, because Bob South would hit him with a grazing shot, which would basically put most mortal men in an unconscious stupor. But Noguera hung tough and got him in a submission. I think Noguera is probably going to want to go, and if, if he can he play the guard game for four or five minutes, he's going to catch Fedor. But I tell you what, it's almost a surreal state here in Yokohama Arena. This is almost like a dream when two guys this good meet. Most of the time, fighters in the sport are busy ducking each other. They're busy avoiding each other. They, they want so much money that they can't get in the ring because no promoter. Fedor told us that he uh, really looked up to Noguera. He says one of his favorite fighters. This is one of the greatest corners in the business. On the left, Mario Sperry putting the belt around Noguera. On the right, Marilla Bustamante, the UFC, also in Noguera's corner, is the brilliant Muay Thai coach. All the way at the right, Luis Alves. Uh, that's a great team, Brazilian top team. Mean it. Bring into the ring here at the Pride Fighting Championships. We're sold out here at Body Blow. Everyone is standing up, showing their respects. All eyes trans... Noguera, Emilianenko and Noguera. Noguera is sweating. He really warmed up. And we see Fedor, he has no sweat at all on his body. Is that going to be a factor later on? Uh, I think in, in a lot of ways, because these guys are both so experienced, that there's going to be a period in the, in the round, the first round, where they're going to kind of take the time. And they're not going to run right at each other like Jackson and, <laughs> oh my God. and Rampage did. <laughs> <laughs> they all gave it. They stopped it. Yeah, I think they, they edited. That was the edited version. Who knows? <laughs> wow, look at this picture. This is beautiful. Yokohama Arena. Emilia Enko, Hyodo Senshu.
この試合は厳正なる計量と診断の結果両者とも的確と診断されましたので2000万2003年3月15日株式会社ドリームステージエンターテイメント Okay, Nobuhiko Takada making the statement that it is for the official Pride Heavyweight Championships. The belt is up for grabs. That injury is completely healed by Emile Nanko, and he is 100%. Fedor Emelianenko from Russian top team. Agatora, Poker Fedor, 191cm, 104kg. Pride Heavy Q Champion, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Of these two sportsmen. Sportsmen at the pinnacle of their craft going head to head. Will it be a stand up war? We'll be on the ground. Fedor Antonio going for that ankle pick. Fedor goes down and back up. Whoa. So we know the game plan from Logera. He wants to take this fight to the ground. He's on the ground. He wants to play the guard game. He wants to catch Fedor with his legs around his neck and catch his arm. Fedor wants to drop the. He's got to get, to get out. He wants to get out of there. He doesn't want to stay he there. Lock, knee bar coming up. If he's going to let that right hand. Oh, and he's got the power shots. Oh, he does. Fedor threw that right hand lead. It's done, Noguera. Fedor should get up. Yes, he should. But uh, Noguera is holding the, his wrist. But we, we know the grip strength of Noguera is ungodly. And now, well, there, was a, there, was a, there was a moment there where. Fedor just looked at him. Yeah, he should have played the close guard. Look at this power. I don't know where he gets it from, but he's got enormous, enormous strength. Ooh. I think that he's the most scientific ground and pounder I've ever seen. Now watch this. He's holding his wrist. With the left hand, he's holding his right arm, Fedor's right arm. That means he's going to try to pass that hand, that arm, and go for a triangle. Right, exactly. But he, got, he let go of it. Yeah. Because, because Fedor is not exactly weak either. And... He outweighs Noguera by just a couple pounds, five, ten pounds. But he should have stand up. He should have yeah. never gone into the yeah. yard of Noguera. Because this is this is where Noguera wants him. Punch, he rolls with it like a boxer slipping a punch. He doesn't yep. leave his head in one position. He, he slips the punches. And up kick. Oh! Ooh, that was a punch. That one landed. Uh, it would be over. It would be over. That was a home run punch, folks. Oh, Babe Ruth right and, there. And, 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 It was a strike. Oh, big, 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 big punches. He's got him. He's got him stunned here. Fedor, the crowd is going ballistic here. Fedor dropping the bombs on that iron jaw. It's going to go wrong. Somebody threw in here. Up close. Some of the people in the crowd got a little hot because they want to see this match. Wow. Fedor has been nothing but danger in the guard so far of Noguera. You can hear him here, over here. It sounds like somebody hitting a, a, a buffalo with a baseball bat. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's a, it's, it's, it's a little bit similar like hitting a cow with a baseball bat. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Both man. Go. You know what? There Ground fights don't have to be boring, folks. No, they don't. Oh! Right hand by Fedor, and Nogueira had his hand around his wrist, and he still hit him. Oh, those shots. Wow, and that's the liver right there, guys. Yes, people are sure, dog. That come the liver. Hi to everybody, by the way, there. Ooh, that's the hand there. Mm -hmm. Oh. See this. Oh, he. Got to watch out for that up kick. Up kick. Oh, about coming up. He's going for the Kimura. He pulls oh. out. Great defense. He's got his gloves are out. He's, yeah, uh, they got a little thing with the gloves. You see. And now, wow. you want to talk about sportsmanship? There you go. No cheap shots there, folks. Both these men are true dignitaries. 
and Bash. Oh my God! Look at those punches and that one landed. It may have been curtains for the big man from Brazil. And he's going again for the same luck. Watch this. He's going to go a Fedor and Michael choke now. If he's going to pass, and he's going again for the umpire. Fedor better get up right now. Got out, got out and dropped the bomb right afterwards. Fedor, Fedor is fighting the fight that Nogueira wants him to. Oh! And he goes again. You see, consistently, he's going for the same armbar over and over again. And Best submission special so far. There we go. Ooh. He passed it. It was almost. Fedor knows. I think that these guys have trained so opponent-specific that it's made for a great match. Technically, there's the energy. It's not a seen some body blows. Oh, yes. And we've did. seen some head blows. Kick to the oh. Oh, he's been training for that. <laughs> you see, the people here understand the locks, you know. They, they go for a triangle, everybody goes, oh, they go wild, you know. Well, you know, know exactly what's going on. One of the great things about the Pride Fighting Championships is it caters not only to the blue collar, but also to the white collar. It, could, it, it caters to not just to the people who want to see blood and violence. Oh! meant that Fedor could be this kind of a threat. Oh, God. They didn't yes. want to think that this guy's puzzled. He seems, you know, but we can never, never, never count him. him out. No, nope. right away. Get him while he's dizzy. Get him while he's dizzy. He seems to want to prove a point, though. It's Russian Sambo versus Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But really what it is, is mixed martial arts. Right and left, just how we thought that we topped it with our previous fights, we get this fight. This is just, because the previous fight had some slow moments. This, oh, oh no! No! What? Or get tired in his, in his fight with Heath Herring after he delivered his onslaught of punches. Now it's his turn. Nogueira needs to really get busy. Look at this! Oh! No! Unbelievable! Already! This has eclipsed those two oh. classics. <laughs> oh. Oh. Prior. Noguero walked to his corner slowly. I'm ready to relax. Fedor. Boss, your thoughts? I, uh, speechless. Uh, I was speechless in the last few fights. Those punches miss. Fedor is so accurate. That's the, that's the vicious thing about him. He's not a wild puncher. Oh, that, that, that was a hard hit. And that too, and that too. How can Nogueira take those punches, those shots, and just play the guard game? Look at him, how relaxed he is. He stays. Uh, organization. I think these guys will probably meet again in the future. If they have to. They have to They're too sure. good. They can't. In my book, nobody can lose anymore. Yeah, because... It's easy for another fighter to say. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. We got the two guys that say, you know what? I want to step in with this guy. And now not only are they going to do this, look at this fight. Uh, Noguera has got a fat lip already. I'm telling you. I've never seen something like this. I know, but he better keeps it up. Because, and then goes for a takedown. <laughs> It, it, Fedor hits so I, and look at the, look at the balance here. Look at the balance. Look at the takedown defense, Basito. Oh, yeah. I, I oh. would just stand up. Why did he do that? Just yep. Stand up. I've never saw anybody hit so hard from being in the guard. Never. No. Ever. I mean, I, ever. Even, even accurate. <laughs> and so never anybody taking so many shots to that also, or anybody escaping from that Kimura of uh, Nogueira. He just gives him the arm right there. He wow. said, here's my right arm, go ahead, try and spin. <laughs> but he's not doing it in a way of disrespect, he's doing it because his fight is to hit Noguera on the chin, and he's done that many times. <laughs> Look, oh, what a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're going to restart him in the middle of the ring again. Yep. They're almost getting into our lap there. Stop, don't move rule. Still move, but stop. Three then... rounds. Ten minutes, five minutes, five minutes. I don't know, because both these men, still in their 20s, 
in their primes probably have a lot left. Continuing his game. He gets hit, but then goes for the guard. Try goals, tries everything. It's... Noguera has stated that he will probably fight for another 10 years until he's possibly 36 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a fight. He's gonna pass. Oh, look at this. He's gonna, he's gonna do something. Go for half time. He's gonna do something. He's gonna try yeah, to he's escape. He's gonna try to flip it, but look. Oh, he's getting the, the mount. No. Look at, look at the. Oh, yeah. See, he just wants to play the game with him. Oh! Every single move. Oh. And it's so dangerous. He escapes the triangle so it's of the submission ability. Oh, oh look at those I shots. cannot believe that pile driver right hand cracked him right on the chin again. And nothing. It's possible that Emilianenko could punch himself out, but right now it doesn't look like he can. No, he didn't look tired at all when he walked to his corner after the first round. Can you imagine the training he must have been doing? I, 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 I mean, he must have thrown millions of punches. I think that he, instead of training on the back, hanging back, I think that he put the back down and just started hitting the back 12 rounds like that. Yeah, and that, it looks like three it. hours on the back, <laughs> laying on the back, and escaping Stop. triangles and arm bars. Of course. Oh, 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 oh. Be the first. This will be the first. If he keeps going like this, he's going to win the fight. Yes, he is. Because right now he is in control of how the fight is fought. He's the one who decided to go to the ground. He's going to stood back up. Garrett's got sick hand strength. Yeah. <laughs> he just sits up. Boom, he's out. Oh. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the beautiful sweep there by Nogar. The power. It happens every time. The first round, he swept him down on top. The second round, he flipped him. Grenades, folks. He simply pushes it away. And then Noguera gets the guard again. It's almost like a cat and mouse game. Unfortunately, it's dominating this last round. He's got to dominate him, uh, but he's got to be very careful standing up. He's got to be extremely careful because we haven't seen Fedor land a shot standing up for the last eight, nine minutes, including, like, the first round, he landed the, the straight right, the left hook, and that was a big factor in getting him on the button. It really takes him out of their game plan. Yep. But you know what? He hit him a few times hard on the button. And yep. Almost like, go ahead, get the guard again. No, last round. Last round, folks. If you haven't got your mixed marshalling in up for the guard, Cracking the right hand yet again. To go and get a submission or do something, otherwise he's going to lose this fight. You know, I'll tell you what. The Pride Fighting Championships video game, as good as it is. Oh no! Oh! As, as good as the Pride Fighting Championship video game is, it is, it's not better than this fight. No, no, no. You cannot. No even way. Wow. But if you want to pick it up, go on the www.prideFC.com. It's because it's pretty darn good. But this match is a classic, folks. Oh. It's, a, it's an absolute classic. That shot hurt. That last shot yeah. to the body. Nogueira, that one hurt. Yeah, for Nogueira sure. is, uh, is is really taking a beating here. Um, it's not to the point where it, it should be thought about stopping the fight, but he hasn't really done much in the way of effective offense. Nope. And submits Fedor, it'll be maybe the greatest comeback since Elvis ever saw the round before. <laughs> oh no, look at this. He's gonna try for a leg. Look at Fedor, just doesn't sit there long enough. He just crashes right back in the guard. So go ahead, try it in another triangle. Go try it. Fedor really has something to say in this fight, and that is, I'm going to fight a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu master at his game. He gets thrown out the window by a shot to the chin. 
Yep, it's happened many times. Another attempt for now, you, you, you need all elements in mixed martial arts. You need grappling, you need wrestling, you need punches, you need kicks, knees. You need kicks like that. And to set up submissions wow. like you tried to set up. He's trying to trick him, but Fedor seems to want The yeah. body shots are hard, still powerful. He knows he's winning the fight. He's, he knows he continues like this, he's gonna win. Boss, you're absolutely right. And he slowed down a microscopic bit, but yep. not much. Not much. The pressure is still there. All the sweat is there, so the submissions are very difficult now. No, Noguera is apparently making it to the center of the ring here. Noguera looks in as bad a shape as he was against... <laughs> yep, no, I don't, I don't see submissions anymore. Two minutes left. Two minutes left in this all-time classic heavyweight match. Noguero's got to try something. He's got to do something. And he's got to do it quick. Time is ticking. Time is not with him. Time is against him. The salt is running out of the hourglass in favor of the Russian fighter. Emilian Angor spot a perfect fight. A flawless fight of the purported best submission man in the sport, Antonio Rodrigo Minotaro Noguera, the true champion of pride, being upstaged by this phenomenal athlete from way up northeast. We're getting close, folks. Odds are good that Noguera will not catch him, but we don't know. Fedor could ride it out at this point, boss. He could ride it out. I would ride it out. Oh, look at that. He could ride it before our very eyes. The great one, Antonio Noguera, like machine from Russia. Fedor Emelianenko. Yeah. There's no question. Fedor pulls there, Noguera up. There's no question. Fedor has taken the title. Amazing match. Noguera's heart and soul kept him in the fight. Any other mere mortal would have succumbed to the onslaught in the first round, probably, boss. I, 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 I don't know words. You see here, Mario Sperry holding the gear, going, attacking, attacking, escaping every submission attempt. It, it was totally fatal all the way. The naysayers um, may say that Fedor wasn't ready for this. But what's he going to say now? This guy, the real deal smashing machine coming at you, folks. Whoa. The dotted line is here, folks. Who's next? Are you ready? Prove yourself. You got to really way. ask yourself. To quote Clint Eastwood, did I fire five shots or only six, but I kind of lost track. He has done it! He has done it! The Pride Heavyweight Champion from the top fighter in the sport. How about that, folks? It was crazy. Did you see it greater all the way? The punch and power. Every escape. He did it all. Every round, single round, was for Fedor Emilianenko. It was completely one-sided. No one knew. Fedor stepped up so much in this match. How dangerous is this guy? This show, in my opinion, was the best, the best Pride Fighting Championship show I've ever seen, and I've seen them all, he's seen them all. What do you think? You're absolutely right, and he's the fight professor. He better be right. He's yeah. That match in June, coming to you on cable, folks. On cable, in demand. It's coming to you on in-demand cable. See it in June, the Pride Fighting Championships, Bad to the Bone, coming at you.